sometime around Christmas, it might have been Black, Black Friday. <laughs> Black Friday. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hi everybody and welcome to the far side of 40. In today's video I'm going to be doing a let's try it and we're going to be trying out the new ColourPop Just My Luck eyeshadow palette. This is a nine pan palette that just came out from ColourPop just a couple of weeks ago and it is an all green palette. Take a look at that. Such beautiful, beautiful colors. So I've played with this palette a couple of times and I'm really enjoying it. And what I wanted to show you today is how to do a colorful eye that is not too crazy, not too out there. Again, this is just gonna be a very wearable, everyday, colorful eyeshadow look. So if that sounds good to you, stay tuned. And here we go with some swatches. First, I'm gonna start with Chances Are. And I know that's not really showing up on my arm, but it does show up on the lid. So this is a situation where the swatch doesn't always tell the story. Next we have Kiss My Hass. That has just a little bit of shimmer in it, but it performs like a matte. And then we have 50-50. And this does definitely have some shimmer to it. This is a nice green with some gold reflect to it. Now for the second row, we have Big Banks, which is another shimmer. Mary Jane, ooh, look at that. So pretty. And finally, All of You. Again, very, very pretty. And for the bottom row, we have Act Natural, which is a matte. We have Mo Bamba, which has some shimmer to it. Kind of like Kiss My Hass, but maybe has a little more shimmer than that. And then finally we have Charmed, which is a matte. All right, so you've seen the swatches now and I'm going to get into the looks. I'm gonna do a transition shade and a crease shade out of my own collection. Uh, these are some just neutral shades that you'll probably have something similar to in your own collection. And then I'm gonna go into the palette and gonna use these colors just on my eyelid. So that's one way that you can do a colorful look without the entire eye being colorful and without looking too out there and too crazy. So the first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna use this shade on my lid. This is from Urban Decay and it's called Laced and it's kind of a pinky taupe shade. I'm gonna use that as my transition. Basically a transition shade is something that goes above your crease. Uh, by the way, I did put on my Milani eyeshadow primer. That's not a reflection of this palette. I use the Milani eyeshadow primer every day um, with all of my eyeshadows. It helps them to go on much smoother, less patchy, and it helps them stay in place much longer. So. All right, so my transition shade, as you see, is going above my crease on my brow bone. And then I'm gonna use the same brush, I'm gonna just wipe it off and gonna blend it with the same brush. And to blend, all I do is just kinda feather back and forth, as you can see, like just little feathery strokes back and forth. <laughs> Y'all have to please excuse my bangs. They were getting crazy long and I trimmed them myself and I did not do a good job of that, but I'm going to get my hair done tomorrow and she'll fix it for me, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, so there's the transition shade and I'm gonna move over to the other eye. Transition shade is done and now I'm going to move on to my crease and this is a shade called Speedway. It is a matte, really light brown from Sydney Grace. And it's a cool toned brown. So the reason I'm using these cooler tones is I'm gonna use the cooler toned greens from the palette. So I'm trying to keep all of my colors in the same family. You wouldn't want to use a really warm brown with the cool toned greens. So that's what I'm trying to do. So again, this is Speedway from Sydney Grace. 
and I'm gonna put that in my crease using my Luxie round brush, mini round brush. This is not very dark, okay? I'm not going for a super dark crease or anything like that. It's just a uh, kind of a medium brown, but with a little bit of coolness to it. Now you can definitely go darker in your crease if you want. That's totally up to you. I just decided to keep it kind of light. I could have used one of the mattes, one of the darker mattes in the palette for my crease, and I've done that a couple of times. What I have found is that these mattes in this palette don't always stay where you put them. And that's why I'm not doing it because it seems like after a few hours I've just got green everywhere and I know it's in places that I didn't put it and you know it's that's fine when you're using something neutral maybe but with a vivid green <laughs> uh, I don't think you really want that or I don't anyway when I'm going for an everyday look now I did do some snaps on Instagram you know, where I had it more the green definitely, you know, in my crease and kind of all over the place. And it looks pretty in pictures. It's absolutely fine, but for day to day, it might be a little bit much. At least for me. Now, well, if you want to do it, go right ahead. I mean, I am not saying that you cannot wear colorful eyeshadow looks every day. I'm just trying to show you a more conservative, kind of muted down, kind of everyday look that is still green and still quite pretty. At least I think so. Okay, going to move on to the other right now. So another thing that ColourPop has recently come out with is this uh, So Juicy Lip Gloss, and it comes in lots of different shades. This is the shade is a habit and you can see it appears to be a nice beautiful kind of brick red but you'll see when I put it on my lips it's not a lot of co color there it's just more of a shiny gloss um, but it is pretty so I'm gonna do that real quick because like I said my lips are so dry and the more I talk the drier they're getting one thing about these glosses they are very minty you oh my goodness Woo. It's almost like I just ate a peppermint or spread peppermint oil all over my lips. That's part of the plumping, I suppose. It does say So Juicy Plumping Gloss. But there we go. Okay, just slapped that on real quick. And as you can see, there's not a ton of color there, but it is pretty. Um, these are quite sticky. So I would not wear it on a windy day if your hair blows into your face because your hair will stick to your lips. I have a really cute shot. I may insert that here of my hair getting stuck to my lips. Um, I tried to record this video earlier and it was a big fail. The lighting was terrible, but that was kind of a funny moment. I'll see if I can stick it in here. <laughs> so anyway, they do come in lots of different colors and I have heard other people say that they are, the lighter colors have a lot more pigment to them, whereas the darker colors like this one turn out to just be more of a wash on your lips. The texture reminds me of, do you remember Lip Smackers back in the day? They came in a glass tube and they had like a roller ball on the top and you, you know, just, you know, smeared them around your lips and like they leaked in your purse really bad all the time. Um, but that was something I remember from my teenage years. So these remind me of those uh, in texture, but ooh, the mint. Wow, don't put that on before you go to eat something because you will taste nothing but mint for quite a while. Okay, back to the eyes. Sorry about that little, uh, that little distraction. So on my lid, I'm going to start with this color right here. Chances are, I'm gonna put that in the center of my lid. And this is the way I typically approach a palette. I will go for one of the lighter shades on my lid just to add some brightness because I don't have a ton of lid space. So I feel like a lighter color on the lid just helps kind of lift everything and make it make my eye look brighter. So we're gonna start with chances are. Now in the swatches, 
it did not show up very well at all. And I have swatched it many other times trying to see if I can get a better swatch. It just doesn't show up, but you'll see when you put it on the lid, something very magical happens and it shows up beautifully. So here we go, this is Chances Are. See, it shows up just fine. So this is a situation where what you see in a swatch does not tell the whole story of that shadow. Uh, this is a matte shade. And again, typically I put shimmers on my lid, but a matte works just fine too. I just like the little extra, you know, sparkle that you get from a shimmer. Kind of makes your lid look really pretty. See? So that went on just beautifully. All right, other eye now. Okay, so that's chances are on the center of the lid, and now I'm gonna do my inner and outer corners. I'm gonna be doing what's called a halo eye, which is where basically the inner and outer corners of your eye are a darker shade and you have a lighter shade in the center. And then you can either bridge the darker color or not, depending on your eye shape. We'll see, I may do it, I may not, I don't know. It depends on what I feel like at the moment. But anyway, I'm going to go with this shade right here, which is called Big Banks, and it is a shimmer. And I'm gonna be using my little Luxie Mini Round Brush. This is what I like to do for detailed areas. I just like a smaller brush. It lets me put the eyeshadow exactly where I want it and nowhere else. <laughs> I see YouTubers using these huge fluffy brushes for stuff like this. And of course, they're probably makeup artists. I am not, I am not a makeup artist. This is disclaimer right here, right now. Uh, I just enjoy playing with makeup and have gotten decent at it over time. But, you know, I don't see how they can use those huge brushes and get the detail that they do. It just blows my mind. This Luxie small detail brush set was on sale for a couple of days. It goes on sale from time to time. So uh, you might want to keep an eye out for that if that interests you. I think they had it for like 30% off. I think I got mine for 50% off. Uh, it was sometime around Christmas. It might have been Black, Black Friday. <laughs> Black Friday. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there you can see what I've done. I've just put some in the outer corner and the inner corner just to add a little dimension to the eye. And I think I am gonna go ahead and connect them in the crease. So all I'm doing is just taking that same shade, chances are, across. Just like that. And then just kinda do a little blendy blendy. As I have said in other videos, I am not obsessed with blending. Maybe I should get more obsessed with it, but I'm not. I just want to avoid stripes. You don't want it to look like you've just painted a couple of stripes on your eye and then, you know, ran away with it. So a few things you can do, you can take a brush like I'm doing and just kind of go in circular motions where the two colors come together. The other thing you can do is take the first color that you applied, where is it, there it is, and kind of tap that over where they come together and then it helps blend them together too. Very pretty, I think. All right, let's move on to the other eye. All right, both eyes are done. As far as the lid, that's all I'm gonna do uh, for lid shades, but I am gonna do some eyeliner. And this is another trick that I like to do. I don't wear black eyeliner and or dark eyeliner. Sometimes I wear a dark brown, but I just don't care for it. I feel like it makes my eyes just look smaller and I feel like it looks really harsh. So instead, because I do like the definition that it gives on my eye, instead what I'll do is I'll take a shade from my palette or I'll take some colorful eyeliner and I'll use that instead. So what I'm gonna do today, what one should I use? Um, I think I'll use this one. Let's just go one, two, three down the uh, down the checkerboard here, and I'll go with this one. 
that is called Act Natural, and I will use that as my eyeliner. And I'm just using a very small detail eyeliner brush. So I just tap some of that on my brush, tap it off, and I like to start in the center. Um, other people I have seen start, you know, on the outer edge and work inward. It's totally up to you, but keep in mind one little rule. Wherever you place your brush first is where the most color is going to go. So if I want the most color in the center and then I'll blend it to the sides, that's what I do. Or if I want more color on the outer corner, I start there and I work in. So and that works for not just eyeshadow, but for everything. Blush works for foundation, works for uh, highlighter. Wherever you put your brush or your product down first is where you're going to get the most. So for example, with foundation, I have a lot of redness here, so I'll typically start here. I'll put my foundation here and then I'll work it out with my sponge. So that's how that works. Tip. Tip Tuesday. Well, what is today? Today is Monday when I'm filming this. It'll be Thursday when it goes up, so never mind. <laughs> Anywho. So you see how that adds some definition to my eye, but doesn't really add any darkness or anything harsh. It's just a really pretty eye uh, eyeliner look. All right, move to the other eye. Okay, so the eyeliner is on, and now I'm gonna take a break here and put on some mascara on my upper lashes, and we'll come back and do the lower lash line. So be right back. So here we go with the upper lash mascara on. I used my still my favorite mascara which is the heroin make long and curl mascara that is Japanese that I got on Amazon I have a review of this on my channel um, one of the very first videos I did I love 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 this mascara all right now for the lower lash line so what I'm gonna use for that is a pencil brush and it's exactly what it sounds like it's a brush with kind of a pencil tip I'm trying to get there you go that's a good shot of it this is another one from Luxie and I think I'm going to use the shade. Hmm, which shade shall I use? Well, no, let's just stick with what we've already done. I'm just going to stick with the three colors here. So I'm going to just use, again, this shimmer shade here, Big Banks. And I'm just going to sweep that on my lower lash line right under my lashes. Tap off any extra. Again, start in the middle and work my way to the sides. Uh, and that's not working so well with the pencil brush. I mean, the start in the middle trick. So I'm gonna start in the inner corner and work my way up. Yeah, that's working. <laughs> apologize for my eyes crossing that is just that's just my eyes y'all when I was a little kid my uh, eye doctor actually put a patch over one of my eyes the idea was that if he patched this one that the other one would get stronger and it wouldn't cross anymore but that didn't and when I say a patch, it was not like a pirate patch. Oh no, 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 no. This was a, like an adhesive bandage that stuck over my eye. I have pictures of myself like that. I think I was, hmm, how old was I when that happened? I don't remember, but, uh, I mean, I don't remember it being traumatic or anything. It just was like, okay, this is what I got to do. No big deal. It didn't necessarily bother me, but. I don't know that they do that to kids anymore because I think they realize that it really doesn't work. <laughs> I've worn glasses all my life until about 10 years ago when I got LASIK done and that was amazing. But as you age, things change and now I'm back to needing glasses again. I'm thinking I probably at some point will get it redone. I think there's stuff they can do now. For those of us who are older and uh, can get rid of glasses once again. So we'll see. But for now, I'm fine. I don't mind it for now. 
only thing I do mind is when the little pads make red marks on my nose and mess up my makeup. <laughs> That's no fun. All right. So that's the lower lash mascara done. So this is my CoverGirl Clump Crusher mascara, which I always use on my lower lashes because I know it's not gonna smudge, it's not gonna mess up under there. Um, I could use the Heroin Make mascara on my lower lashes, but it would make my lashes much too long, um, and I don't like that look very well. So anyway, there we go, the, the finished look. So. This is the green eye look that I feel like is not too crazy. You don't know, you guys might think it's crazy, but uh, that is the ColourPop Just My Luck palette. Just using these three shades right here. Um, maybe I'll do some other looks later uh, using some of the warmer, darker shades, but for now, we're just gonna go with this. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you might've learned a couple of tips on how to use colorful eyeshadow in a way that's not too crazy looking that you can wear every day. And I hope that if you did, you will consider subscribing to my channel and click the like button below. That helps me in YouTube's algorithms to show this video to more people and get some more views. So I would really appreciate it if you could do that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.